Hi and welcome to the session. Let's work out the following question. The question says if vector A, vector B and vector C are three mutually perpendicular vectors of equal magnitude, find the angle between vector A and vector A plus vector B plus vector C. So let us see the solution to this question. Let mod of vector A be equal to mod of vector B be equal to mod of vector C be equal to some quantity say lambda since vector A, vector B and vector C are mutually perpendicular vectors so Vector A dot vector B is equal to vector B dot vector C is equal to vector C dot vector A is equal to 0 and this we call equation 1. Now mod of vector A plus vector B plus vector C the whole square is equal to vector A plus vector B plus vector C into vector A plus vector B plus vector C which is equal to vector A dot vector A plus vector B dot vector B plus vector C dot vector C plus twice of vector A dot vector B plus twice of vector B dot vector C plus twice of vector C dot vector A and this we call 2. Now from 1 and 2 we can say that mod of vector A plus vector B plus vector C the whole square is equal to mod of vector A square plus mod of vector B square plus mod of vector C square because this, this and this they become 0 and this is equal to 3 times lambda square. And this further implies that mod of vector A plus vector B plus vector C is equal to square root 3 lambda. Now suppose vector A plus vector B plus vector C they make angle theta with vector A so we will have cos theta will be equal to vector A dot vector A plus vector B plus vector C divided by mod of vector A into mod of vector A plus vector B plus vector C which is further equal to vector A dot vector A plus vector A dot vector B plus vector A dot vector C divided by mod of vector A into square root 3 lambda because this is equal to square root 3 lambda this we have just found out. This is equal to mod of vector A square plus this is 0, this is 0 divided by mod of vector A plus square root 3 lambda. Sorry, this is mod of vector A into square root 3 lambda. This becomes further equal to mod of vector A divided by square root 3 lambda. Now, mod of vector A is lambda, so we have lambda divided by square root 3 lambda, which is further equal to 1 upon root 3. So, we have cos theta is equal to 1 upon square root 3, and this implies that theta is equal to cos inverse 1 upon root 3, which is also our answer to this question. I hope that you understood the solution and enjoyed the session. Have a good day.